what's good, Commanders fans? Day one of Commanders training camp, and this is an exciting time, guys. It's an exciting time. Football is back. Preseason is almost here, and then the regular season games starting in early September. I'm excited, guys. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. I'm super excited. So um, we'll do some play-by-play, -play and then, of course, just talking about um, the injury updates that Dan Quinn announced this morning, the, the team announced this morning. And um, you guys know how the training camp day recaps go uh, year after year after year. So, all right. Um, the biggest news today is that Johnny Newton, Jerzon Newton, was activated off the uh, NFI list, which is really, really good news. Dan Quinn said, quote, he's so ready to go. We were hoping he could get back soon. We're really pumped he's ready to start. He's back, end quote. So, yeah, I'm going to show some clips as well from practice. Um, definitely going to show some clips. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is good news for Johnny Jerzon Newton for Jerzon Newton to be ready to go and practice already. We'll see if he does play in the first preseason game, but um, looks like the timeline is looking good for him, man. And uh, we we definitely can use Johnny Newton for sure, just adding depth to the defensive line, just adding some explosiveness or a lot of explosiveness and pass rush moves. A guy who can get to the quarterback has nuanced moves, counter moves, uh, just the 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 get off that he has, and he blocked kicks last year. I mean, he's so talented. I mean, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year last year. So, just a big addition, giving John, giving Deron Payne a, a break, giving John Allen a break, just having a great rotation of pass rushers in, from the interior. Uh, the worst pressure you can get is interior pressure. The worst quarter, the worst pressure that a quarterback can face is interior pressure. So Johnny Newton is certainly going to come in. He's he, he you know he he is supposed to be a second round steal. So if he's available and ready to play, man, I mean, just adding to this defensive line, it will, it will be a nasty, nasty trio of interior linemen that can get to the quarterback. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he can bring to this team. I mean, um, so that's good to hear. And then F.A. Obata was uh, placed on the active slash pup list. So he's going to be out for a little bit. He did have a rough, rough injury last year. So, you know, we'll see when he comes back. But, um, OK, let's get started with some of, some of the play by play stuff. I'm not really going to talk about much what Terry said in the press conference with John Allen. It was kind of, I'm not going to say, you know, uh, it, it's kind of the stuff that they say every single year. We've heard John Allen's talk all the time. I think the only time you really need to take note of what John Allen says is we'll see midseason how we're doing. Does he have a meltdown like he does or um, an outburst or whatever or go on a rant like he does every midseason? We'll see. Uh, that's the only time where I really kind of listen into what Jonathan Allen has to say. But no, he's a captain. He's a leader of the team. Always has a good pregame speech and whatnot. So big fan of Jonathan Allen for sure. Terry McLaurin, we know what he's got to say all the time. Captain of the team. Humble guy. Uh, talked about Jaden Daniels a little bit here and there. So, I mean, we'll see how that breaks out. But I think they're going to have they're gonna have great chemistry. I'm excited to see uh, Terry McLaurin and Jaden Daniels for sure. Um, that does remind me. Shout out to Prize Picks. Use my promo code real at Oliver. 100% deposit match. Uh, my picks are Jaden Daniels over 17 and a half uh, passing touchdowns. You should clear that. And then Terry McLaurin over 925 receiving yards. And then use the LeBron free square for sure. So use the link down below in the description. Not going to talk about it too long. Uh, first time you, use, you get 100% deposit match. So that's easy, guys. Jaden Daniels should throw 20 touchdowns in my opinion. Sam Howell threw 21 touchdowns last year. So I think Jaden Daniels should definitely get to 20 passing touchdowns. And then Terry McLaurin has 1,000 yards. Got a thousand you receiving yards the past three seasons, so that's easy pickings right there for the season. So make sure you guys get those picks in using my promo code, real Ed Oliver. All right, um, Mitchell Titchler, he showed a picture of the things they've been wearing on their helmets. It's a uh, Guardian cap. Uh, he says players are strongly encouraged to wear and have the option to wear in game. So that can be interesting. They can wear this during a game. That's going to be uh, kind of different. Looking at that, I know they used to wear those gray things in practice on the top of the helmet, but. If they're going to wear, wear these Guardian caps, that is different. Uh, it's, going to, it's going to look different in the games for sure. In years past, they were gray shells. This year, they're designed to mimic the look of a regular helmet. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, going, to, it's going to give a weird look, just something to get used to looking at. But, hey, it is what it is. I guess if it protects the players, then it's a good thing. So, all right. Uh, JP Finley says, no surprise. Tyler Beata snapping to Jaden Daniels in warm -ups. Michael Dieter snapping to Marcus Mariota. Kind of interesting. More like day 11 interesting, but still. So, uh, there is a clip of Tyler Biotic snapping the football to Jaden Daniels. He definitely is going to be our starting center for sure. Not really much of a competition with Tyler Biotic. But, uh, you know, he he's a great addition, man. He was a Pro Bowl center with Dallas. I think he's definitely going to bring some leadership and toughness 
to the roster. Dan Quinn calls him a bad, a bad, bad ASS. Yo, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what Tyler Biotic brings to the table. We know he's going to bring to the table. He's going to bring toughness and consistency for sure. Um, and then Michael Dieter. So Cornelius Lucas was starting a left tackle today. So it is day one. They're not wearing, wearing pads yet. So you don't want to take too much stock in this stuff. We still have a competition to go for the next couple of weeks, him versus Brandon Coleman. So he started at left tackle. And then Marcus Mariota, Mariota took first first snaps in team drills. But Jaden Daniels took took snaps with the first team, too. This is per Zach Selby. Uh, but Jaden Daniels is balling, man. You see him walking out with the basketball, him and Sam Hartman. He's holding the basketball. So, you know, I guess holding the basketball, just playing with the basketball kind of adds the touch to his throws down the field. You know, you got to have that touch playing basketball. So maybe that does help with it. But, you know, he's a baller. So he loves the game of basketball. So uh, it's pretty cool seeing him walk out there with the swag. You know, holding a basketball, whatnot. Um, and then, of course, you know, the Giants wanted to trade up for Jane Daniels. They didn't, didn't get, did not get a chance to make a video about that, but that was interesting. We're not surprised about that either. And um, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about the Giants training camp much, but we did. I did see some clips where they weren't looking too good. But I'm not going to comment about the Giants training camp at this point because we got to beat them. We always find a way to lose to those guys. So I'm not going to comment too much about them, even though it is interesting that they wanted to trade up for uh, Jane Daniels. So Zach Selby also says Jane Daniels reps. Three out of four in a run and a touchdown to Zach Ertz. So we love seeing that. Three out of four to start off and a nice pass to Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz is definitely going to be a uh, leader on the team. We'll see if he does get the C on his chest. I, I, I don't I mean, we'll see. But, you know, he's he's going to be a big target for Jaden Daniels. Just making things easier for him. You know, a security blanket. Uh, a rookie's best friend can be a tight end or a running back to check it down to and find, uh, find easy, quick hitters. So... I uh, love seeing the connection to Zach Ertz. They had a good connection in OTAs and minicamp as well. Um, Daniel started in seven on seven drills per Zach Selby. He uh, threw a touchdown pass to Kaz Allen. Kaz Allen makes a diving grab for Jane Daniels. One play later, Bates powers forward for another touchdown. So good to see, good to hear that for uh, Kazmir Allen. Kazmir Allen, I don't have him making the roster, but I do have him making the practice squad possibly as a as a you know kick returner, punt returner specialist. He could be that. He could do that. Last year, he was awful in the preseason. He muffed the punt. He dropped a couple passes. Uh, every time the football hit his hands, he just was not good at all. But we see the talent, super talented in college. So I hope he, he makes the roster some way, some or makes is is involved with the team some way, somehow. Uh, Nicky Javala says, Jaden Daniels just threw a beautiful pass, beautiful ball to Brian Robinson out, outside the shoulder for a touchdown in the red zone. So that's awesome as well. That's why I say over 17 and a half. Touchdown pass for Jaden Daniels because he's gonna he's gonna have some nice passes to Austin Eckler and Brian Robinson, not just Terry McLaurin, John Dotson, and Luke McCaffrey, but Brian Robinson. He's gonna be used as a receiver too. I'm excited to see that. Brian Robinson did a really good job as a receiver last year with Sam Howell. You look at the Seahawks game; he had a, he had really nice catches and you run after the catch as well. I think Austin Eckler is gonna push him and make him better too. Cliff Kings Cliff Kingsbury is gonna make B Rob better. Anthony Lynn is going to make B-Rob better. So I'm excited to see what B-Rob does. Not just running the football, but catching the football too. So, And B-Rob's a good route runner too. Um, Zach Selby says, Jane Daniels finished this, the team drill four out of four with one handoff. Another one was a pass breakup. He's been pretty flawless. Lake Lewis says, Jane Daniels dropping dimes out here on the first day of commander training camp. So Jane Daniels was balling. He was on point. I know it's first day of, the first day of training camp, so I'm not going to get too excited. But Jane Daniels was balling from all accounts. Um, everybody really loved that that dime that he threw to uh, Brian Robbins from Robinson. Uh, and then Linnell Williams says, one thing that has stood out here on day one of Camp Day Daniels, very decisive with the football, gets it out quick. So uh, he's a quick decision maker. That's what I love to see. We were hearing that in many camp OTAs too. He was getting the ball out quick. He was processing quickly. So that's really good to hear as well. Uh, C. Wall Sports, shout out to her. She said, I feel like I'm watching a Cliff Kingsbury special starring Jaden Daniels. So Jaden Daniels was a star today, man. He was balling. He was balling today for sure. Um, let's see if there was anything else that would really, really stood out. Um, Dan Quinn on Zach Hurst says, quote, the leadership is remarkable, but also talks about his route running ability to find spots in zone and versus man. Dan Quinn makes clear Ertz isn't here to just coach or isn't here to coach and that the vet tight end can still play at a high level. So from all accounts, Jaden Daniels was balling, man. You look at the touch, you look at the throw in motion. Uh, he's out there enjoying himself, having fun, talking to the guys, uh, getting the guys involved. Brian Robinson, Zach Ertz, even throw the ball, throwing the ball to John Bates. So nothing but good things that we hear from day one. This is what you're supposed to hear on day one. Like I said, um, 
you know, he's, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. I'm not going to bring up the Giants or whatnot, but I did th see Daniel Jones throw a lollipop pass. But once again, we got to beat them first to talk trash about them. So I'm not going to talk trash about some of the clips that I did see from the Giants training camp. So, uh, but just keeping it strictly commander stuff, Jane Daniels looks the part. He's been playing well. It's still very, very, very early. But it's, it's, it's very easy to be optimistic. And you can see why GMs are scared to death, as Jeremy Fowler said, about Jaden Daniels. Uh, opposing GMs and executives are scared to death of what Jaden Daniels could be. So we definitely have a potential future franchise quarterback on the team. So it's, it's just it's going to be exciting to see what Jaden Daniels does uh, his rookie season. So Jaden Daniels balled out from all accounts. Um, didn't hear anything about returners today, like who returned punts, who returned kicks. Uh, they did say that, um, the kicker, what's his name? Ramiz Ahmed made all six of his kicks today, a couple 40 yarders and a couple extra points. They were all shorter kicks, but he made all his kicks today. Um, it was an 80 minute practice, so they didn't practice long. No fans were there today. Fans will be there on Sunday, uh, and a few more days until they put pads on, but the players moved with a lot of urgency out there today too. Referees were out there today as well, and they were throwing flags. So that is intriguing to see on their first day of practice as well. So, um, that's about it, guys. That is about it. Jay Daniels was balling. Zach Ertz had a nice catch, and Casimir Allen had a nice catch. Didn't hear anything about Emmanuel Forbes, really, or Bobby Wagner and guys like uh, the defensive guys much. But uh, everything was really focused on uh, what Jane Daniels did today. So I'll be here tomorrow if they do have information about day two and day three. I'll be here making videos every single day as much as I can. So, all right, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Hell to the Peace.